Hey everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, we had a... I would say it was a little bit of a battle. <laughs> a little throwdown in here. And uh, we came out on top, obviously, because we are very persistent. But now... Now what is the question? This better open. We went back to the uh, round table and met a few new faces. Oh, we actually uh, we actually need to level because we ate the rune that we got from Godric uh, because we could have got a kind of a like a faith based weapon or a super strength based weapon, none of which really fit our build. And then we got a uh, our new rapier. So that was pretty cool. It worked out. Uh, let's go Dexterity and Endurance here. So we're currently using Rajir's Rapier. He was very, very kind to give this to us. And uh, we appreciate that. So it's Pokey Pokies. Got some nice little combos there. And then it's got this. Oh, I just have to... I just hold L2. That just happens. Yeah. Really neat. Okay. So this is probably just auto-attack stuff. I don't know if it lasts forever. No, it hits walls too. Interesting. I guess this is his throne. Godric's, that is. Okay, this is heading down. This might... Both of these might lead to the same place. Hmm. Nothing in here, eh? You're just gonna do me like that? Just a total dead end? Just getting started. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I really wish that um, these messages were more useful. <laughs> when the game first comes out, it's always just a little bit... Like, it's just spam everywhere. A wrath ahead? Shabriri Grapes. Shabriri Grapes. Yellow oozing eyeball of the infirm. The surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy, not unlike a largely overly ripe grape. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. Do I know a blind maiden? The hell am I looking at? Oh, are you the blind maiden? Please take my grapes. Okay. Maiden, ma okay, so this person's looking for the maiden. I'm looking for a blind maiden. Okay. Fair enough. This is, we're out behind the castle. Hey. Liernia of the Lakes. Okay. So, looks like we're going to be spending some time in a totally new area. It would be great. I'm actually going to eat the rest of these souls that I have. Let's see if I can get another level. It'd be great if we could find one of those Stellas or Stellies. That's not what I wanted to do. To uh, get a map of the area. Sixty-one, sixteen. Don't know if that's enough. Eighty-six, thirty-three is where we're at now. Uh, 
Look at that. <laughs> I'm just going to check the other side of where we left here. Nice. Actually, <laughs> it's not going to be enough, but it's pretty timely considering. Just kind of whacking right now because I'm getting used to this animation. So this is actually wrapping us back around. That's kind of interesting. This weapon's pretty cool. It's just such a direct animation that it's like maybe a bit to get used to. I'm so curious to see where this goes. Why is there all the blood stains, man? No. We need all these bones for arrows. <laughs> okay. I'm going to explore this, and then we'll just teleport back to the other thing if we don't find anything here. Is this like a whole path around the castle? Certainly feels like it. of War Stormwall. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have a way up there. Okay. Well. Maybe we can connect over on that side. And I didn't see it. Oh, is that a hole? No. Yeah, see, I don't see a... I don't see a way up there. All right, I'm not sure where that's going, but we're going to go to the lake facing cliffs. And we'll head out. Now, when we got direction from the guy at the round table, he listed all those different people and their directions. Um, east or north of Limgrove or Limgrave are both good. I guess this is north adjacent. This is pointing us off in that direction. There's still a bunch of stuff here that might be worth exploring. Just going along this main road, but... 
we'll see where this takes us for now. Should we get our horse back? Let's do it. I'm going to remove this empty Cerulean Tears as well. Church of Ireth. Hey! We need that for, um... For our flasks. Improve sacred flasks potency. Yes. You're tarnished, aren't you? Yeah, that's then that's me. Perhaps you could spare some runes. Oh boy. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. He's gonna suck You're me dry for more saint. runes, isn't he? My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. <laughs> I think I'm okay, uh, then. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. Okay. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. I wonder if we got him a key. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the Academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree Tree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, okay. would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent or sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy. Okay, so let's add that to our list of things to do. Uh, Thops here. Wants a glintstone key. And what is... Where is he at here? I won't be buying any of these. Church of Irith. Okay. So... What can we put a... What can we mark this with? Maybe like a... Uh, a diamond or something. We'll help him out. We could go buy one for, I think it was 4,000 runes. I kind of want to find a, a road to follow, but... Oh, a huge sickle you got there, you sicko. What the? Ok, 
Okay, I'm just gonna get in there. We'll see how these work. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I'm digging this weapon, actually. An academy scroll. Give to a learned sorcerer to acquire new sorceries. Okay. I wonder if that, uh, anybody in the round table would want that. Didn't really come up when we were there, but. A little, little encampment down below. over there. Oh, it's just an animal. I thought I got really lucky. This reminds me when we basically first started the game. Things are kind of nice and calm. We're just exploring what could go wrong. Here we go. That's so nice. That is really cool, actually. And like our our stamina is so high. I can just be stabbing for days right now. Checking to see if there's anything around there. Oh, he blocked. Okay. I was wondering if those were, like, impervious. Nasty. Really nasty. Whoops. Um, form an arch of magic glint blades, which will attack foes automatically. Follow up the strong attack to chain this into a lunging thrust. Okay, that's what I've been trying to do. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Well, hello there. Expands crafting repertoire. We can get Cuckoo Glintstone. 
Gains information on faux sorceries. Uses FP to produce a magic bolt. Alright. I wish I could see, like, okay, so what's the difference between fletched? Oh, adds distance to the arrow's flight. Oh, okay. So damage is the same, 35 and 35. Uh, Stormwing bone arrows, 55, obviously. And bone bolts are 40. But we really just need them for, like, pokes and stuff like that. Could this be an item? I mean, could be. Ooh, is that what I think it is? See that glowing thing there? Is that a stelly? Oh, no, I don't think it is. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just a light. <laughs> Shit. It's just a light. Okay? Don't get too excited. Nothing. Why is it always bog? Yeah, seriously. Oh! Almost. Almost. Is that loading screen guy? You're new around here. I think it is. I've seen this donkey. My little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them. Mm. Eh? He's a thief. All right. Attach the ways to illuminate surroundings. Uh, yes. Use once to turn on and again to turn off. Well, its light's dimmer than that of the torch has the advantage of freeing up the user's hands. 100%. That's a buy from me. Crystal dart, spell proof, dried liver, shatter shard arrow. Sure, I will also buy this. All right. Ah, not everyone can tell how good. I have some stuff I can probably sell to him. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, this dismounter I thought we might try, but I'm really liking this other stuff that we have. But maybe before I do it, I'll I'll check it out. The axe can go. Crescent Moon Great Axe can go. These hammers, those are going to be a while. Cloth Garb can go. Commoner's Headband. See ya. I don't know why I would wear this one. I think I'm going to get rid of it. And these are just nicer options for if we just need to cut weight. to switch those out. We're at medium load. We also have to check our talismans here because we got this one. Uh, Arsenal charm raises maximum equipment load significantly. Yes. Boost fire damage negation. That's fine. Enhanced guard counters is fine. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay.
So do I need to mark this guy here? I might. Ooh. I bet you that's a beacon. Or uh, a steli. We'll put this as like uh, one of these to show that we're we can sell. Hmm. Whoa! You got arms. Brave Violet. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, it's neat that we can kind of see those. Oh, I love that. Obviously, it's gonna... Oh. They might need a second to set up, I think. But it accomplishes kind of the same thing as um, the unsheathing. I can hit from a distance. It's good damage. This one actually is stunning, which is even better. Laernia, Laernia East. Okay. That's a big chunk. That is a big chunk. Oh, God. Oh, God. Death bells. Love that. Guys, that was unnecessary, let me say. What are these wins? Oh, our little charger boost. Or charger. <laughs> uh, torrent. They don't even seem to mind me just walking right up behind them. Ooh, boy, though. I really have to get those things to, like, run into something. Okay. Did we drop anything from that force? What are these grave violets, I wonder? K 
hue of ghost flames believed to be useful in calling forth spirits. Finding all sorts of good stuff right now. Cuckoo glintstone and freezing grease. Okay, we can we can craft something to inflict frost damage. That's really cool. But we need rhymed crystal bud, widely found in cold regions. All right, so we're getting a little bit more north than I'd like to be, because I still think there's probably a bunch of stuff over here we should be checking out. Um, so I'm going to head back to this. Artist Shack. Can't remember who was there. But I'm going to do this and kind of just like map out this area, see if we can get to this thing, see if this opens up. There's some main roads there. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Guys, let's take a break. When we come back, more fun times. Bye for now.